Gems, how are you doing? This is Fee Domino Ruff. How's your day going today? I have just completed project one of the July Smart Art Box. Okay, so project one um, was showed you how to do the balloons with their stuff, and if you didn't see the thumbnail, look at what I did. I actually managed to draw some balloons. Just ignore that bit. So, Hope you enjoy the process of doing this one. Leave me a comment. Um, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you're liking what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, enjoy the process. So in the box, um, everything in the box is going to get used for this project, which I am going to attempt. Let's see if my balloons look that good. I've probably already shown you. <laughs> Let's see how we go. It's a simple design, it's a simple start. So, um, we'll get started. So getting in and using the Strathmore watercolour. Do I tear a page out or do I just... Eh, what do I do? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay. What I might do actually, I will we'll take a page out. Oh well, they come out nice and easy. And let's give the balloons a go. So if I go with step one, sketch your drawing using the gelatos. Start with simple line drawings to lay down the foundation of your drawing. Okay, let's see if I can create that. Take these out of the packet. This is the first time I've used them, obviously. I like the sound. Sticky tape. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see what I can do about drawing some balloons. I might see if I can bring you up. You can see everything right down to <laughs> Smart Arse and Sass Box. Which is where I constantly say smart ass and sass or smart art and don't finish it off and whatever. Anyway, here we go. We have the. I might have you actually see what I'm drawing. Um, and I'll see if um, editing fee can actually bring you down to see bits. But uh, I suppose first things first, wouldn't be me if I didn't use the purple and. Uh, Dirty glasses. I can still see. <laughs> okay, so this is the gelatos. I'm going to try and make this take up the whole page. Um, going that way doesn't really matter, does it? This is the nervous bit. It's the actual first bit of drawing. So, but first balloon. Using the gelatos, simple with line drawings, lay down the foundation of your drawing. Uh, colour your drawing using the gelatos, then use a water brush found in the gelatos kit to brush water over the pigments. This will blend the colours and create waterproof, create a watercolour effect. And then we have to let, the, let it dry before we do the next step. So we will fill these in. If I'm looking at these, I need to draw to create light. Um, I'm going to I'll put a light that one. I'm just going to do these first so that I can do need to bring that one out. Okay so I'm just going to fill these in but I'm going to leave a square probably down there. This will feel really funny to draw good.
Now, next steps. <laughs> I want to shake it. Uh, use the drawing, colour your drawing using the gelatos, then use the water brush, found the gelatos kit to brush water over the pigments. And this will blend the colours and create a watercolour effect. So I have filled it up with water. I've just got to get some water flowing through it. Ah, there we go. I've got water flowing through it now. Okay. Um, <laughs> spray that off. Oh, wow. Okay. That's good. That's really flowing up. Now, allow it to dry. Allow the first layer to dry before moving on to the second. A second layer of pigment to create a gradient effect. Use your fingers to blend the gelatos and finish off with a layer of water. Okay, so here we go. Okay, that's this one here, the pink that I'm not really that happy with, but we'll see. Okay. Wait for that to dry. Step four. Use the graphics aqua inks to add another layer of colour and depth to the piece. Dilute the ink with water to create a softer wash. This will allow you to build up colour slowly.
Now to let it dry. Next step, step five. Once the piece is dry, add the final touches of black and white pit pens. The black pit pen has a flexible brush nib that is perfect for creating both ultra thin lines and thick bold lines. Use the white pit pen to add highlights. Okay, so the black. Find that point is okay. So it is a witcher, maybe practice on something. I'm going to go that way and struggle with is the judgment calls on things they actually did a bow on theirs which I've got no idea on my lines are way too thick <laughs> for a bow um okay so we're going to like there Okay, you have step six. Let's finish the piece with a soft background. Wet the paper really well using a water brush. Load the edge of a brush with the aqua ink and gently tap the wet paper and watch as the ink spreads to create stunning marble like effect. Then I'm going to cut this brush. Here we go. This brush. I'm grabbing the. Oops. What's that one? The six. Wet the paper. Load the edge of the brush with ink. ink. Then gently tap the wet paper and watch it. Oh, cool. <laughs> already seen the end result so uh, gems on that note I will say thank you for watching this one <laughs> um, I think I've surprised myself so what have I used I have used everything from the kit from this box so I've used the gelatos got one without a oh no that's my water brush I've used the water brush I used paint brushes I've used the aqua ink I've used both the pit pens the white and the black um, so yeah well, let me know what you think leave me a comment is it something you do what do you think of the effect I'm reasonably happy with what I've managed to achieve because you know <laughs> as we say I can't draw 
Okay, gems, um, on that note, thanks for joining me and bye for now.